E-blocks are small circuit boards, each of which contains a block of electronics that you would typically find in an electronic system. There are two types of E-blocks boards, upstream boards and downstream boards. Upstream boards contain a programmable device like a microcontroller, an FPGA or a CPLD. Here you can see several types of upstream board. An 8-bit PIC Micro microcontroller programmer board, an 8-bit Atmel AVR microcontroller programmer board, a 16-bit DSPIC stroke PIC24 microcontroller programmer board, a 32-bit ARM7 based microcontroller programmer board, and a CPLD stroke FPGA programmer board. Downstream boards vary from simple LED boards, keypads and displays through to more complex subsystems like Bluetooth and Zigbee boards. A key part of eBlocks is the support for modern digital communication systems and many communication standards are supported with eBlocks hardware including CAN, LIN, GSM, RS-232, IRDA, PS2, USB, TCP-IP, MIDI, SPI, I2C, Zigbee, RFID, Bluetooth and GPS. As well as boards for communication, there are many input-output boards, including OptoIsolator, Motor Controller, Relay Board and LCD Board. And the list is growing. The range of eBlocks boards is complemented by several CD-ROMs containing software and courseware for programming in C, assembly, flowcharts, VHDL and Verilog. There are also a number of advanced manuals covering topics like mobile phone system development, USB development and other topics. So let me show you how the eBlocks system works. First, we take a baseboard, which simply has a grid of holes at regular intervals. Then, we take an upstream board, like this PIC programmer board. To this, we connect a sensor board, a display board, some LEDs and a keypad. The connectors we use to connect upstream boards to downstream boards are D-type connectors. We use these because they are one of the few connectors in electronics that have the physical strength to withstand being connected and disconnected many times. These connectors are rugged and will last in the lab. Each D-type has nine lines, which gives us eight bits and earth. The upstream boards have a number of D-type connectors, as you can see here. As there are eight lines on each connector, it is possible to have one microcontroller port for each D-type. So on this PIC board, you can see that we have ports A, B, C, D and port E. Power to each downstream board is provided by separate power lines connected by screw terminals. In this configuration, only the sensor board and the LCD board need power, so I will just connect them. On each board we have a plastic connector in the mounting holes. Once we have power wired up, then we can simply snap the whole system into the metal base plate to provide a rugged development system. If a more permanent system is needed, then plastic covers can be placed on top of each eBlocks board and the combination of the cover and the board can be mounted to the backplane. This prevents users from removing chips and changing the link settings. That concludes our introduction to the eBlock system.